Hey YouTube, it's your boy Widgie here, coming at you with some more Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And I've got another casting game for you, and this one goes with the quotes from Julian that he thinks Lakota is an A-tier Civ, ladies and gents. And we're going to see exactly what Julian gets up to. Is it going to be different to Keister? Is it going to be different to Horsefeed? All those other main Lakota players. Let's find out and see what he does here. And he is going to be playing on the south part of the map. And you're probably thinking, Widgie, what the hell have you done to the map? You've rotated it. Of course, in true Julian style, we've rotated the map for it as well. So you've got to do it. So obviously on the south side here, we have Julian playing as Lakota in the Cyan and on the north side we have a very well known player Ungus here big boy Ungus playing as Germany in the yellow so it's going to be a very interesting one and I really want to see how this one happens it is a relatively short game I'm going to give you a, a bit of a spoiler here so we're going to try and see what we can gather from this um, interestingly we've seen that uh, Julian here has immediately gone for a TP very close to the base here. It's also going to be capturing a few trees, the gold mine here as well. Um, and he just needs to make sure, obviously, that he gets his herd in on the left side here so it's within the TP. He's also gone ahead and dropped the market with the amount of wood he's got. And he's chopped a little bit there that you saw. And he's able to now drop the market. And, of course, he's getting hunting dogs. And that is pretty much what he's going to be doing for his macro. Now, I think a lot of the time, from what I've seen Julian play uh, Lakota recently, is that he tends to go TP market hunting dogs, and he leaves it at that. He doesn't tend to go for the trade post as well. Uh, we can see here that he's uh, converted the uh, the Master Samurai here, and um, is going to be grabbing this huge treasure. Let's see how much he does get here. Oh, he manages to tame the panda. Look at this. Pete, Pete, the tame panda, or Pete maybe. I don't... Is that Pete or Pete? There's no acute on the E, so I'm going to say Pete, but you can't say for sure. Let's have a look at the deck here. Going to be going with three villagers first. Going to quickly hit that pause button. This is the 1v1 deck that um, Julian's going for. Now, there is an interesting card here, the uh, the Cheyenne allies here. 500 coin, you get seven horsemen. Now, these horsemen are good against other cavalry. So they're basically like melee dragoon type units. Very, very good, um, especially, for example, against a cav civ like Germany. And it's also a really nice timing as well. You can use them for interesting sort of timing pushes and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend going for this card really early. I'd probably want to do it more mid-game if you're still in age two. And we do have the kind of standard other cards. We've got the three unit cards here along with the Takala soldiers. Um, we've got the Great Hunter, of course. And then in age three, a uh, few interesting ones. We've got the Territorial Claims which means that the Chetan Bowmen um, get better Siege, um, which is quite good. Um, and it also improves Club Warrior Siege damage as well. So if you want to continue with Age 2 style units, you go for the Territorial Claims. And of course, the Adoption one here, that's quite nice if you want to go for a big sort of Villager Boom. If you want to do a Villager Boom, you're probably going to ship a 1,000 wood, and then you're going to drop a uh, Community Plaza, and you're probably going to dance for... Um, the fertility dance so you can get your villagers out quicker so that is an option as well so there we go let's hit that play button and let's have a quick look at Ungus here is uh, going to be going for the two settlers of course he's gone for the standard market and house opening and his 1v1 deck is here it's it's very standard the only unusual thing is that he has an extra kind of um, mercenary shipment in age three heavy mercenaries in here we have the german black riders the jaegers and the pandors so um, potential there for him to go mercenaries if he wants to. So let's have a quick look back at Julian here. He's going to be grabbing another treasure using the good old tame panda here. Going to be grabbing 75 wood, which is really good for age two because in transition you're going to be you're going to be chopping wood. So that's nice to see that. So 75 wood coming in, and now the age up is on. So we're just sub three minutes here. We're on the age up. And um, what is Julian going to be selecting? He's got 14 villagers, and he's going to be going for the chief. So the chief is the, I believe, it's the slow age up. I think it is the slow age up. Yeah, it's the slow age up, definitely. So the slow age up, which is going to give you 400 wood. So he's going to be now chopping some extra wood as well. And let's see what he does. Let's go Julian's vision here. We can see on the top left side, he's going to be grabbing another treasure. Going to be able to tame a lizard now. He's got a blue in menagerie 
um, of units. He's got Pete the Panda, he's got a Samurai, and he's got Kerman the Pet Monitor Lizard. So he is absolutely going all out here. But you can see that some of that wood that he's chopping, he's going to now be dropping a trade post in transition. And two villagers are now going to be going out into the middle of the map. So we're going to be seeing most likely a war hut is going to be going down here. And now another card is available. So unfortunately, a samurai does go down. Uh, that's that's unfortunate. But he is rallying the uh, the monitor lizard and the panda are coming to to his aid. And um, yeah, the vills are actually going really far out here to try and see if they can find a decent spot for it. And there it does go down. Boom! Look at that. We see a war hut going down, and immediately when we saw that war hut being dropped, immediately you saw if you had a, if you had your eye on the bottom left, all villagers immediately moved off of off of wood there went straight on to food the reason that is is because when we age up or when julian ages up he's going to be getting 400 wood so he doesn't need to chop any more he's got that war hut down he's got a trade post and let's have a look and see what that 400 wood is going to be used for now i can see that he's also getting some herding in on the north side which is really nice he has a herd on the bottom left here he hasn't brought that in just yet and immediately going for 700 wood and that some of that wood from the age up is going to be used to get the trade post upgrade. So we can see that coming into play as well. And looks like he's also going to be using the other 200 wood for a trade post. So two TPs are going to be down. He's got a war hut. And he's just a little bit low on wood at the moment. So there is a bit of a timing. You can see the timing here. There's no units being trained from the war hut. Um, <laughs> WTF are those stats. I mean, look at that panda. That is insane. Uh, 400 HP, absolute unit of a panda there. Going to be really good to just tank damage. And now we do see Club Warriors coming immediately in queue. And now that 700 wood is in. He doesn't need to have too many vills gathering wood right now. And now he goes for the Axe Rider. So the different thing that Lu um, not Lucas that Julian has done here is instead of going for the standard Axe Rider opening first where you ship the Axe Riders... He's gone for the 700 wood initially, and that is because he can now start establishing a trade post. And this map is really good for a TP line because you have five that you can potentially get here. Now, there are other maps where you might only be able to get two, for example. So you might have to slightly adjust what you're doing with that 700 wood. And um, sometimes you could drop a second war hut with that wood if you wanted to. Sometimes you can drop a corral, which is your stables. So you can use some of that wood to get stables down. Um, but usually, as I say, it, it's quite nice to drop another TP and then, you know, use that to then upgrade. And with that, you're spending 400 wood anyway. So to get another trade post and also to upgrade the TP line is 400 wood. Um, so we can see here the third trade post is now down. Now we have the upgraded TP line. We've got it all on wood and now the corral is going down. So Julian's really spent his wood well and... He's getting a little bit of pressure now from Ungus. If we have a look at the uh, vision here, Ungus going uh, for an age two, obviously. Dropped to church, got the barracks underway, and now some crossbow are coming out as well. But um, he's going to just try and take down these pipemen if he can. Uh, the axe riders are on the field as well now. And now we start seeing more unit shipments. So, and the trade post here is going to be so good. I mean, look, you can see he's not even actually gathering any wood at all right now. Uh, simply from these three trade posts are going to be providing him the wood for his units from his war, uh, his war hut. So it's kind of crazy. Now the Axemen are coming in. Going to be able to clear up these crossbows quite nicely. Going to just get on those two Ulans as well quickly. Why not? That's fantastic to see. And still just sort of harassing those pike. We're not going to be able to do too much. And um, the, the Ulans are going to be going down here. And now he's going to be pushing forward. With those Ulans, we can see uh, Chetan Bowman coming in, um, and and unfortunately there is the Ungers. Yeah, I just can't play today. Sorry. So obviously Ungers not not in the best kind of frame of mind, not in the zone. Um, a very very short game, seven minutes. But I know some of you guys do complain in the comments that it's quite short and you don't really learn a lot. But I think we've learned a lot from this opening and how different it is from the other Lakota strategies that I've been showing you. So this is slight tweaks here and there. But what I think is really crucial, and one of the reasons why I think, you know, Julian says that this sieve is potentially A tier. I mean, it's very unheard of. Um, he said that he's had immense success with playing Lakota on the ladder, that is. 
and he rarely loses games playing Lakota. And it generally seems that the strategy that most of the time that he goes for is securing the trade post line early and going for 700 wood first rather than four axe riders. And with that, as I say, he can drop a corral down and using that corral most of the time, I, I kind of see what Julian does. He, he tends to go for a few more unit shipments after his 700 wood and then normally it's the 700 coin that comes into play. And sometimes he will either decide to age up. So if he's had a very successful fight or if he feels like he wants to age up, he will go ahead and use that 700 coin to age up. Sometimes he will just simply use it to get axe riders and he'll start to transition some villagers over to gold gathering as well. And then potentially use the Cheyenne allies if you want to, to then push further. And of course, you've got the Takala soldiers as an option there as well. So there we go, guys. A very short game. Um, great opening from Julian there and Unga's not in the best frame of mind but hopefully you guys have learnt something from this opening and I really suggest giving Lakota a go I really enjoy playing them they're one of my main sieves and I've started to try this strategy out and I still need to tweak my macro a little bit my timings but I'm really enjoying this it's, it's pretty straightforward as well there's not much to think about with this I like it the 400 wood is nice uh, rather than fast aging and also it means that you save your fast age you save your fast age for the age three so if you do need to go into age three at all uh, and obviously there's plenty of occasions that you may want to earlier depending on the situation then that option is there for you in the form of 700 coin bada bing bada boom get your 300 coin from gathering up and then boom you can you can get yourself into age three pretty darn quickly so guys hope you enjoyed that let me know down in the comments below what you think about this is lakota an a tier civ julian thinks so uh, i think he released a recent tier list and lakota was up there so of course let me know of course julian is the number two player i believe or maybe he's the number three now player in the game and if he says you know lakota's a tier then i don't know guys can we argue with him i'm sure we can but should we? I don't know. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.